This is a test of the American broadcast system. This is only a test. But not really. This is my tutorial on how to use SketchUp to make an A-frame house. And uh, we'll get started. Uh, I kind of sh show you already, you know, you open up a new SketchUp model from your Google Drive. And you may need to add the app and install it first. And then you can pick it and then log in with your G Suite. And that will bring you to here, and then from here, we want to do new. And uh, there she is. Uh, you can see it's like an infinite grass plane. Uh, if you middle mouse button on your mouse, you can spin it around. And uh, I don't know what the alternative is. Uh, let me see if I can figure that out. I think... Uh, I can't figure it out on my trackpad right now, but uh, I'm just going to use my mouse for right now going forward. Um, stuff can be created really quickly in this world of SketchUp, and so I'll just do an example really quickly and show you that I just created a two-point rectangle, and then I can select on that rectangle. You'll see it shade, and then I can extrude it. Uh, for this exercise, I want you to, to create an A-frame house. And so um, it wouldn't be a bad idea for us to, um, eh, that wouldn't be a bad, that wouldn't be bad right there. Um, as the ground floor for this A-frame house, it would be pretty big A-frame because uh, you can see my model here in the background. She, I forgot who this is. I, I called her uh, Miss Coleman, I think. So um, to build this house, the first thing, really, let me, let me just point out that you can see the menu down the side for SketchUp and uh, the menu over here on the right. And, and in both cases, um, they, they have knockouts, these little arrows that are right next to them that also give you additional tools under that uh, icon. And so uh, they have little graphics and uh, offset is one, for example, that we're going to use and extruder is one that we're going to use a lot. And um, we'll move stuff around. That's what this is. We can rotate here and scale here, make it bigger and smaller. And um, then you got some good tools for annotating. And then there's things we can do. We can walk through those, the world that we create. And let me go back up here. Uh, you create arcs, you create lines, you create sketch elements and uh, painting. So um, let's go. Uh, but what I would like to point out is <clears throat> SketchUp is really one line at a time. So I would grab this line and then it will click to the midpoint of this end line here that makes up this rectangle. It will naturally want to click to the midpoint. Uh, you'll see it turn blue. And then as the it will also want to go straight up this blue z-axis line it, it likes to snap to the polar coordinates and um, so uh, and you can see at the right hand lower right hand corner of the screen I can actually type in the uh, distance so I believe if I have my number on my keyboard I can type in I think in this case I'm gonna ask that this be at least 18 feet high line of the house and I'm going to put in the uh, uh, single asterisk um, to designate that as feet or I could type in feet um, I just blew that uh, let me try this again you actually hit the wrong key and so I'm going to hit escape Okay. Yeah. So this line again, I'm going to type in 18 feet. Enter. Now, I can, uh, what I've created is like uh, two right triangles, right? Two perfect right triangles. And I can just finish these off like that. Uh, now, this is 
something I'm just going to do. Uh, one other thing about the way SketchUp works is that, so you're just creating really generally one line at a time. That's how I like to think of the universe of SketchUp. Just one good line or curve at a time. And, uh, but then it really pretty quickly creates these universes in that way. Uh, so I can finish this up by, you know, constructing, watch this. It's also a smart sketch uh, reader. So um, I could actually come over here and finish the ridge this way. And you'll see I put a blue dashed line in there. It's kind of reading my mind. Uh, knows what I want to do. And uh, that's really handy at SketchUp. Um, so I'm looking at this and I'm like, yeah, I really wanted that ridge line to be a little higher. So watch this trick. I can go to the move tool and I can pick the midpoint of that ridge line. And you're going to see that little blue axis that just those little blue dotted dash lines under my, uh, move pick tool. Um, they are uh, making sure that this ridge line of the house is going straight up along the blue axis, going straight vertically. And that's what I want. And this has got more of the look I'm hoping for, I think, on my A-frame. So I'm going to go ahead and add, I guess, like five feet. Click. Done. So A-frame houses are real popular. They were real popular in uh, mountainous regions and in, in, uh, northern regions um, where you get a lot of snowfall because uh, there you have you have to deal with you know up to 60 inches of snow on the roof and snow on a roof is just the most devastating thing there is because uh, it just the ice just kind of penetrates through all layers of things and and the pressure and all the weight of the water so these roofs are like bulletproof that's what they are and they're easy to make because you, you instead of creating uh, you're really just putting together this whole section of the roof on the ground and the same one over here and then you kind of like parse them together with some framing and so they're really quite quite basic uh, uh, and, and it's a type of architecture that's been used for just eons really I don't know, you know a long time in, in many indigenous areas in the world so the a-frame has a lot of history in that way too but they're also they can also be really cool uh, I'm gonna type in a Sometimes you put the hyphen in. Sometimes you don't want to do it. In the name and house, I should say. It's, you know, I add the word house to that search, but you can see already, even without adding a house, you see all these little cool A frames. And this is typical of one where you got loft space up top. Um, and then, uh, so like you see, you see them in these, like I said, uh, piney woods, mountainous regions. Um, so I'm, I'm actually having you create something very much like this. You can use any image you want. Yours can be unique, and you'll see I'm not too worried about actual measurements here. Um, so um, offset tool, very handy tool because it can offset uh, the outlines of any kind of face. In this case, I like that. And then watch, I'm going to go pick this inner one, and I'm going to extrude. So I think I moved, here it is, under here, under that. There it is. And I can push back. And that's how I'm going to create my porch space here. I'm going to do the same thing to the back side. So I'm going to go over here to my offset tool. Oops. Go to the pick tool first. A lot of times in SketchUp, you just got to get really used to going back here to the pick tool to read pick tools. Quite often. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the back side, and then I'll go pick that face again, and then I'll pick that. So you see, I'm picking, doing a lot of quick picking and reselecting of the menus to get this stuff created here really quickly. Now, um, Yeah. Um, I want to change materials real quick uh, by hitting this. Uh, so under the menu at the right, this is where we'll put scenes together and we can really look at the lip of the model in different layering. We can add elements.
elements to it from an external library, which I'll show you. But right here, if I pick under this surfacing, if you pick the micro, the little uh, magnifying glass, we can uh, pick, you know, material types. And um, I believe uh, roofing right there, right? You can select different types of roofing. Um, and that's the typical type of roofing that I just picked uh, for most of these. You could do like more like a, a clay roof that actually I really like. Is that a clay? Is what do they call that? But um, that's what I'm going to pick for, for my chalet. And then under me, in the uh, pattern says some good stuff, but I was going to pick. Woods, yeah. And I'm going to go with a nice wood finish on my porch, maybe all the way around. Because I'm fancy. Bam. Uh, I can even change the end wall here to glass while we're. Framing and put in, watch this. All right, so let's go back up here. Oh, sorry, uh, this one 3D warehouse. I'm going to put in a stove. That's what this house we're going to have for heating. And I'm using a hot belly or a chalet stove. some uh, oh that's a cool one right there now before you go popping all this stuff into a model by, uh, be warned that down here you can see the megabyte of this that's the file size uh, and sometimes these things the file sizes are huge and in that case it's really gonna slow your model down or it's just not even gonna work anymore uh, I'm gonna hit escape after I drop that in and you can see it's on its side so over here in the move tool, I need to rotate it and I'm going to do that. So, um, you'll see the rotate and now I should be able to move it. I got the uh, compass in the background, uh, rotating it the way I really, really want to rotate this in this world. And then, um, I have to pick my from point first and then I can pick my second point. And it should usually click to 90 degrees, which that one did. And you can see it's like still not where I need it. So I'm going to move it again. So I go over here to my move tool, pick on it, and then I'm going to move it up. And then I'm going to rotate my mouse over. And then I'm going to move it in. And then I'm still not quite happy with it. Um, and it's going to have. Round. But what I'm going to show you is that uh, this wall now that I made glass is in the way of me being able to select that. So um, one of the things you you have to do to deal with that in SketchUp, well, the way I, I do it is I hide the end. Now I can reach in here. Oh, thank you, Charlie. I can reach in here and finish moving this around. So let me do that. And then I, I, I'm going to just kind of want to put this down here on the side like this. And you'll see I'm going to put a couch over here. I'll put a kitchen in here real quick. Uh, throw in some uh, win back windows, a loft for a bed area. Of a Jeep, and that will finish this project. Uh, but I'll do that on the next video. Till then, ta ta, y'all, turn it up.